All right, this uh, this should be working. Okay, it is good because I just tried to stream before and it just straight up wasn't working, so that was nice. Uh, welcome to all zero viewers so far. I've never started a stream this quickly, but I figured, hey, if it's if I know it's working, it's working. So, uh, guess I'll wait until someone comes in. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, the first person to comment gets gets a shout out. <laughs> Put your link in the chat. Uh, nope, no one. Okay. Nice. Well, maybe this is gonna be another one of those times where it doesn't get shown everyone. Maybe n no emails go out, no notifications happen, no one on Discord is notified. Oh, there we go. It's Erno the Meme Lord. Having a special shout out. He's the winner. Nobody even knew there was going to be a, a, a competition this time, but there it was. Free shout out. Another meme lord. Uh, welcome, welcome, and welcome, Smimbo. I guess we'll get back into it. So, yeah, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't expect the game to just start up when I pressed A. I thought there'd be like a little menu or something. So, okay, here we go. Uh. Oh dear, so so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello everyone, starting today I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates going on and such. Hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off the daily ritual with the doozy of an island announcement. The big airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please do drop by for a look. And oh, I do have one other item to share, and it is too, is a Whopper. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. The McDonald's Whopper is now available at selected McDonald's. Uh, wait, isn't the Whopper like a B Burger King? Burger? <laughs> oh well. Uh, uh he's, uh, Blathers is here, yep. I sincerely hope everyone lets their cooperation. Inquisitive residents just don't mind different details. That's all from me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious big living. Now, I know I said I wasn't gonna time travel. Uh, and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's what, what for fucking Christ, Trump. <laughs> okay, listen, um, I knew I said I wasn't gonna time travel, but I figure... If I just make it day, the game might be a little more interesting to look at. I, I think I should I think I should just change the time by 12 hours. And I think that'll be nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quit right here. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Uh, feedback. And I'm going to swap the time 12 hours beforehand. And, uh, and I'm just going to go back in time, basically. Hey, anyone else notice the, uh, the lovely sound effect? <laughs> the fart, the, the fart reverb returns, yes. Uh, I, I, so I, I, I'm doing it, uh, just, just so the game's a little more interesting to look at, because I don't, I don't think, oh, there's a guy washed up on the beach, I didn't even realize, didn't tell me that there was a guy washed up on the beach. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, so let me go to my home. I don't know if this is going to show anything, like, um... Bad, so I'm just gonna take that take that away for now. Take away my the view that you guys have just for now. Um, I probably just shut down the game actually. Hang on, just give just give me a, just give me a little second. I'm just make it so just in case any private information is in these settings, I don't have to. It's probably not, but just in case. Uh, system, uh, date and time, time zone, uh, date and time. Uh, let's go. So if it's 9 now, it'll be 9 in the morning. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. And I will just go back to Animal Crossing with me and swap back to this. Okay. Should be all good. <laughs> Instantly, like, puts my credit card number up on the screen. <laughs> uh, so, we will uh, firstly get uh that guy down on the beach i guess but also there's rocks to grab there's blathers to see there's there's stuff to do and my house should be built that's right he said i my house should have been built but wait no if my house has been built then what the fuck's my tent still doing there 
All right, there's Phoebe. Did I see Critical's video on Nintendo? No, I didn't. Is that? Oh, thank you very much, uh, 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 Sw Swaymos. But nice. What's next? Sixty-nine, four twenty, YOLO. Uh, Nintendo. Uh, oh, that is my house. Wow, I don't have a tent. I have a house. Holy shit! I didn't even realize. Um. Yeah, Nintendo shut down a Smash tournament, didn't they? For no good reason whatsoever. It was ridiculous. Oh well, uh, we're just gonna play during the day. Oh my god, there's a thing from mum. My dear Robert, how is your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth? Washing behind your ears? Oh shit, I don't often do that. Phoebe, what do you want? <laughs> just came to say hi! See you later! I'll see you later. Bye. Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help you out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Mum. I will place it in my pocket. Thank you. Mum. Oh, look. Oh, sweet. My, my shades have arrived. I think I got them. Congrats on your new home. Greetings from our happy home academy. Our goal, we want to help make it, help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. <gasps> what is it? I don't know what it is. But, uh, there's something from Nook Inc. All new body paint and eye color options are available as Nook Miles Redemption items at the Nook Stop and Resident Services. We hope you enjoy. <gasps> oh. Okay. Nice. All right, cool. So we've got, um, we got our sporty shades. Here we go. We're gonna slap them on. Yeah. <laughs> I look stupid as hell. Alright, so this is the prison that the uh, housewoman gets. The wooden end table. I'll learn that. Okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden end table! Like Scoob! And here's the gift my mum gave me. Is it flowers? Pears! Oh my god, wait, I can plant pears? <gasps> oh my god, I'm planting a pear tree. Right next to my house. Right here. Like a good spot. Probably like this. Hell yeah. Uh, grab, uh, drop item? Grab one? No, that's not it. Do I drop it? Is that how I plant? I don't think so. I don't know how to plant. Uh, I'll, I'll, I need to dig a hole. Okay, so I need a shovel. Okay. Hey, thank you for telling me that. Let's have a look inside our house. It's because they were using a netplay mod for Dolphin so Melee could continue to thrive and remain the competition game it's been. Yeah, like, the thing is, is that I don't even think... A lot of people have been saying that Nintendo doesn't have... Here, a few tips for comfortable living. They don't even have a, like... It, it's actually legally allowed to do what they're doing. And Nintendo's in the wrong here. Um, turn lights on or off. Enter decorating mode. Open storage. Oh my god, I can actually decorate things properly! Ah! Oh! Good. Oh, and I can store stuff, thank god. You can open your pockets to slick furniture. Okay, cool. Cool, sweet. Um, I didn't give a centipede to Nook, did I? I'll take that. Did I give a moth to him? I don't think so either. Alright, take that too. I did give him a cricket, I think. I'll keep my little cricket. Keep my little cricket boy. I can go, uh, uh, uh turn lights. <gasps> Decorating mode. Nice. <gasps> oh, sweet. Oh, let's rotate. Alright, let's put my beard over here. Let's uh, put my little exciting thing over here in the corner. Let's get... Oh, this is so much better. Oh my god, it's so much better. Get a little lamp next to my beard. And I'll put the radio on like an end table when I get it. Can I put it on top of here? Nope. Get my, my nice log. Let's just put it up here for now. I guess everything's gonna go... Have my cricket to... Oh, damn it. Well, I'll have him at the foot of my bed. He's my best friend. He goes there. Nice. Oh, and I can put stuff in my pockets in the house. Um, can I show this off? Oh, I can. Show off my shirt. <laughs> I can store it. I think I'll just store it. Uh, I will put... What should I put in here? My balloon? No, I'll keep my balloon on me. No, it's gonna take up too much time. I'll just, I'll just display it. Yeah! Can I put it up here next to the Oh, come on! Give me a little bit of extra space, game. Can my cricket have a balloon? Damn it. 
I'll just put it up, up in the, I'll just put it in this corner here. Then when you enter, you're like, oh my god, a balloon! And I don't think anything else is really... Slip on loafers, I'll put that in storage too. Store, thank you. And... Oh, wait, I can do walls? <gasps> oh my goodness. That's ground. It's ground. It's ground. Okay. Hang on. Wait, I can put pants on the wall? Oh my god, I can put pants on the wall! There we go. <laughs> Sweet! Yeah, oh no, there... Can I... Yeah, I can still do it! Yeah! Okay, that's the light switch. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, emulators are legal, yeah. Uh, oh no, they're emulating a 20-year-old game that's barely even sold in stores anymore so they can play multiplayer during a pandemic. How horrible. Yeah, like, what the fuck, Nintendo? Honestly, like, if you're gonna be that bitchy about it, at least give us a way to play Melee Online. At least let us buy the game from you. No, go buy it. Go buy a GameCube. Go buy, go buy it. Go buy a GameCube, guys. That's what you gotta do. All right. So there's a time limit on this, so I gotta keep hitting it. Okay, that looks like something. No. Oh, oh god. Come on. Get something else. Oh, that looks like iron. Looks like an iron, iron, iron ingot. Oh. All right. Got a bunch of stuff there. That's a weed. Getting more weeds. Looking at the shiny gold nugget makes me feel like royalty. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Sweet! Sup, Sparky? Where are you headed? What's the latest? This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. What do you mean, the cherries? Oh, is that a mushroom over there on the left? Oh, hell yeah. I've got a mushroom. All right, I need, to, I need to read comments. This thing that's going on. Oh, you made a pity tata pattern? Nice! I, I'm gonna do like, I'll just do like an episode where like, everyone gives me their patterns. <gasps> Is that a dragonfly? I couldn't get one of those before. Let me, give me, give me the, give me the bug net. Come on, come on, come on. Sneak it up on it. I got it! Yes! I caught a damselfly! Now it's a damselfly in distress! Ha! Yeah, you can't even buy a GameCube. Nintendo doesn't even gain anything from from, uh, from you buying a GameCube. It just doesn't make sense. But, whatever. You know? Whatever. What's this? My pockets are full already. Should I swap it with something? Uh, yeah, swap. What am I getting? I don't even know what I'm getting. Uh, let's swap it with... Uh, um... Clumps of weeds? No, I can sell those. Let's just leave this on the ground for now. Oh, it's a mushroom. Shit. All right, let's go sell our stuff. Hello, Tommy. Rabbit! Congratulations on your new home! Our home is sure to open up so many new possibilities for you. You'd be wanting stylish furniture for your home, which you could always craft as DIY projects, but I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. Let's take a bit of time to get your order delivered, but they have a daily rotating selection of goods. That includes fashionable things that you can hard get in an island. You can check out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop and Resident Services. Give it a try. You're just selling me shit. Oh, nice blathers. I'm gonna... Man, that tree is not in a good space. <laughs> uh... Alright, let's give him... Our creatures. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of the island. Thus, I have come to you to, uh, to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Robert, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job, indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to uh, alight on this island with nary a uh, ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research... Truth be told, I have determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on the island amongst you. So you should discover a new type of insect or fish. Do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave to Tom Book in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallest problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. 
Empty displ display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Who? As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is a flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Who? Silly you! Go swimming in the fucking ocean, you dumb fuck! Pardon me, Robert, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. I'm guessing this is like a bridge? Oh, wait, no, is it like a hopping pole? I think I've seen that. There you see! With wood gathered from Beeg, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole! Oh, well, you know. This pole can be used to propel- Okay, yeah, I can propel myself up rivers. It is good. I think this voice is getting- God, he talks a lot. <laughs> Please, Robert, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I had blethers on for far too long, but let me leave you with this- I just realized I can't even- No, ble blethers is- Maybe he's meant to be called blazers. Okay, that's definitely not- That definitely sounded wrong. <laughs> but he can't say his own name, so everyone calls us blethers. Uh, 15 more items, okay. He looked evil there for a second. Okay. Uh, let's- let us, um... Let us give him our items, so we don't... So we don't need to... Marvelous! What would you like to donate? I've got this, uh, black... Wait, I can't donate the sweet shrimp? Oh, is that for food? Can I make food with that? Holy who? This must be a black bath! <laughs> now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your black bath? Yes. Wonderful! I would love nothing more! The black bath is a formidably strong fish, and thus is a common target for spot anglers. In some areas, there are even those who professionally catch just black bass. <laughs> Yet in other areas where they are not native, they are considered an ecological nuisance, invasive even. One cannot help but wonder who is to blame for their invasion too. And there you have it! Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you! Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. 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 By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it from you? I've got something. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Oh wait, can I donate multiple things? Nope, just one at a time. Eek! A moth! <laughs> the horror! The repugnance! Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. What are you, what are you guys talking about? Oh, the GameCube? Alright. Uh, ahem, I beg your pardon. Bugs, I do detest them. Still, there's much that I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Please tell me. Ah, oh, I see. In that case, mm -hmm. Many think the moth is strictly a nocturnal creature. Alas, no! These frightful, frightful fluttering beasts have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours, too. Thus, there is no time of day one might escape the moth trait I dislike most of all. Those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives me feathers, my feathers goose bump, and I'm no goose. Any hoot, my sincere thanks to your donation. And though bugs are the, the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Oh, so, wait, he's a bird and he doesn't eat bugs? Uh, yep, I've got something. Oh my god, this voice is gonna get really annoying. <laughs> I should have just given him a nice voice. Eek! A centipede! <laughs> what a wretched thing! Yes, I'd like to learn more about the specimen. Uh, okay, what do you got? The centipede's name means 100 legs, but I tell you now, that's a lie! These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 171. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know it could go over, I, I thought it was always, like, at least. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly 100. Who? It's true! You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous! And their bite is quite painful, too! Horrible things, I say! Anywho, my sincerest thanks. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. So just, I'm not gonna read the same thing every single time, so I'll just read the new stuff. 
Yes, I've got something else. What do I have? I've got a damselfly. Oh, he's gonna go eek again. Eek! A damselfly! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. The colorful damselfly is similar to its cousin, the dragonfly, though it tends to be smaller and thinner. But don't let the delicate look fool you. Much like a dragonfly, the damselfly is a ruthless predator. It loves to catch flies in midair and eat them, and it's been known to snack on spiders it plucks from the web. In thought, it is not a dinner guest I would recommend, and it's not a menu I could keep down. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Nice. This is really cool. Like, I can finally get rid of all my shit. Alright, what else do I have? Um... Wait, I can't give him the sea cucumber? Really? Why well, think you have nothing on your but why 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 I could have sea cucumber? What do we use the sea cucumber for? <laughs> you scream from the top of my lungs whenever I give Blad as a bug? I can't. <laughs> there are other people in this house. <laughs> if I was living alone, then yes, absolutely, but <gasps> it's a kiwi bird. Wait, why is wait, hang on. There was an owl there last night. And Blathers is an owl. What's this? Something on the ground here. What's this? I can't pick it up. Hello? <laughs> Why can't I pick this up? <laughs> I don't understand. Um. Dig it up? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll go see if I've got the uh, shovel yet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this place is a lot, like, cheerier during the day. And foggy. So, you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. Uh, I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. And the two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? It should be a piece of cake? Mmm. Well, hello there, Robert. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. Uh, all homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... Your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Can I pay in miles? Oh, I'm sorry, that was a special offer that only applied to your initial getaway package fees. You'll have to make loan payments with bells now. Oh, but don't worry, you can pay in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature of the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. Uh, but I do have a nice surprise for you. To help you ready for this. It is a premium miles redemption item, a Nook Miles ticket. What's that? Uh, a Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to the deserted island of magic. Well, now you can do both. You could use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left you a ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home, indeed. Ah, okay. How would I feel if Pokemon was bought by Microsoft? What, Pokemon was bought by Microsoft or Sega? I don't think Sega or Microsoft could afford Pokemon. It's like, it's such like a, it's such a huge franchise that, that nothing could buy it. Even Nintendo, I don't think, could buy it. The Pokemon company is like in charge of that shit. Just as long as it's not like a uh, fucking Square Enix or something. You see what they did with the Avengers game? Uh, let's see. So I need a shovel. Oh, I can make it. Nice. Hardwood. God damn it. All right. I need to go chop down some trees. Uh, King Tut Mask. No, thanks. The wooden end table. I need wood. Vaulting pole. I need soft wood. Um, okay. 
can make a stone stool and a hay beard. All right, so I need to go get some uh, some things. But first, I will sell some stuff to Timmy. I have something I would like to chat about. If you have a moment, that is. It's a bit of a proposal, so now if not, it's a good time. I understand. Sure, I'll do it. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. I'll have to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. You, I, I met horny leader. Ah, oh, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks? Our environmental review even says there'll be zero impact to the native flora or fauna. Ah, oh, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and you will of course offer, uh, we will of course offer, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like you to gather. 30 pieces of each wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets? Jesus. I've only got one. And I was going to use it for something. And I want to buy something anyway. Oh, I have to make a museum first in order for Blathers to take deep sea creatures? Okay. I want to sell. I think I'll, I'll keep my sea creatures then. Uh, but I'd like to sell my clump of weeds. <laughs> Thank you. Now, is there anything in the box? Nothing. Welcome to Nook Stop. All right. Uh, I wanted to see what, what the shop has to offer. Precious upgrade to the Nook Miles Plus program. This will upgrade. You'll have access to even more redemption offers. Uh, okay. Following services. Uh, I will... Nook shopping. Ooh, a scooter. Can I use it? Is that a thing I can use to get around the island? Or is it like just a... Is a tricycle. Can I use the tricycle to get away... Uh, get around the island? Uh, a bandage... Hello tea, konnichiwa tea, sweet pants, water shoes. I love you. I love you too, game. <laughs> It'd be really cool. Oh, you wish? Oh, I really wish you could use the scooter. It'd be really neat. All right, so I need to go get some wood to make a shovel. It's our first stop for today. But first, I'll put my uh, sea creatures down over near my house so I have them. Uh, let's put a couple just down here so I don't forget about them. Let's place the item. Nice shrimp. <laughs> nice sea cucumber. Oh, I've got some Nook Miles to use. Nook Miles with a plus. Your rank has increased and you can now use Nook Miles Plus services. Oh, makes it even easier to earn miles. Oh, good. Thank God. There was a special redemption office that only Nook Miles Plus members can get. <laughs> it feels like it's a... Oh, my God. What is this? What did I do? <gasps> wow. Ah, I see. Okay. It's like just collecting some things and you get little bits. Okay, I was wondering, because like, once you complete all of these, it's like, oh, I've done everything. I can't get any more miles, but I, I guess this way you can. Yay. Lona. Oh. I got moving fees paid. Nice. Anything else? Exterior decorator? Nice. Anything else? No. Alright. There's something new on here, apparently. Oh, it's just a king top mask. No thanks. No thank. That's what you come up with. Having Finding gold. And that's what you come up with. Come on, dude. That's scary. Uh, let us chop down some trees. That's hardwood. Is any of the softwood, though? That's the question. Uh, oh, it is softwood. Nice. I thought you could only get, like, hardwood and regular wood. Oh, there's regular wood. Okay. I've got wood. Hardwood. <laughs> Honey, I've got wood. Is it hardwood? No, it's softwood. 
Is the X timed on the trees too? I have no idea. Let me give that a go. I'll see. Now wait a couple seconds. Nope, doesn't look like it. Thank God. This doesn't make sense that it's timed. When you go get something in the wild, it's not like it's, you know, <laughs> timed. <gasps> a butterfly! Squirrel brain strikes again. Get up! What? 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 Come on! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wait, I think I've got that tree already anyway. Ah, uh, no, I haven't used the Nook Mile ticket yet. I just got it. Ah, shit. Wait, someone said I could use the, the net? Ah, no! Oh, God! They lied! They lied! Aw. I got stung by wasps. Wait, hang on. I've got the feeling there's something under my sunglasses that I can't see. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Not right on the eye! I'll take that anyway. Here we go. I think we'll have enough without even breaking the axe. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, I think I think I've got enough. I should have enough to craft a... Oh, I could probably craft a workbench, actually. That'd be good, because then I could just craft... I don't have to come in here every time. I could just craft a workbench outside. Hello. Can you help me with my bung eye, Tom Nook? Oh, Robert, hello. <laughs> Love you to talk. No, all right. Uh, should I craft something? Yes, I would like to craft. I would like to craft a workbench. That would be quite nice. Uh, cause then if I can craft that, yeah, that's what I need the iron nugget for. Man, I'm carrying a big stump everywhere with me. That's oh, I see. It turns into a leaf when I pick it up. And now I need to get the shovel. And then I can plant a pear tree. And also get that secret outside. But also, I bet I can make something else. Uh, the vaulting pole. Shit. Well, let me go, uh... <laughs> Man, I, is there a pocket upgrade? Because, like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't keep everything. Um, ah, shit. Right, let's put the DIY workbench. Let's put it here. Actually, no, it might get in the way. Let's put it. Uh, let's put it right here for now. Okay. Uh, now I've got a bit of extra space in my inventory. Got my gold nugget. Got my elegant mushroom. Um, pears. All oh, right. I was going to plant a pear. Let's plant it right here. Uh, so I need the shovel, first of all. There it is. And then I drop my pear into it. And now, for the watering. Uh, with A. Delightful. Good stuff. Okay, I wanted to use it, not, um... Whatever you were doing there. Come, come, can I use it? Can I... <laughs> I want to use the workbench, please. Okay, there we go. I need to be above it. Uh, let's craft... The vaulting pole. Put 10,000 bells in the glowing spot so it can grow a money tree. What? That's a thing? Uh, no, I didn't get the gold spot on the ground yet. I'll go get that now. 
Is that where I can make a money tree? <laughs> can I put 10,000 bells in the ground? Or do I just dig it up? Um, I think I kind of just want to dig it up. I don't need a money tree right now. Hooray! I took up a thousand bells. What? What? Just add it to your... Just add it to your thing. I guess I'll drop these tree branches. I'm gonna bury that in the hole. Can I... Put away? Alright. Thanks. Take my tree branches, thanks. So what's in here? Oh, shit. How do I cover that all up? Okay. Uh, so what do I do with this? What do I, uh... Oh, I covered it up. Alright. Oh, <laughs> it's gone now? Oh. I didn't know what button did what. I, did, I, I thought maybe, like, to plant. I pressed, like, Y or something. Oh. Uh, oh, well. I'll plant bells in another time. Uh, so what what am I... Uh, what, what's my next mission here? So I can go get the thing, but I can't really do much until... Hang on. Let me put, like, the rest of my sea creatures down. Because it's getting a little ridiculous. Okay, there's my oyster. Uh, what's the wasp nest used for? Is that a fucking bug I see? Wait, I had the thing in my hand that I needed. Yeah! I call it a long locust. Isn't that just a grasshopper? Whereas I call it a locust. Ha! Huh. I guess I'll just slap it all in my storage. For now. Uh, I guess that makes the most sense. Like, just everything I... I wish it was more like, you know, like... I wish it had, like, a like a bigger chest than just this, but... You know, whatever. Uh, let's put this in storage. Let's put the mushroom in storage. Let's put the gold nugget in storage. Let's put the tree branches in storage. Let's put that in storage. Let's put that in storage. Let's put that in storage. The reason why I'm putting everything in storage is because I just want to, um... I want, I want to, um... Stones, put that in storage. I want to be able to get the, um... Oh, wait, I need to make, like, an axe, don't I? What do I need an axe? Hang on, how do I open up storage? The right button? Alright. I In order to make an axe, I need tree branches... In stone, right? Alright. So I'm gonna get fossils as well. You get more inventory space from the Nook Mile shop? Okay. I'll give that a go. Oh, wait, I can craft here. I'm gonna fucking use it. I would like to craft a axe, thank you. Here we go. Oh, I need five tree branches. Give me your motherfucking tree branches. Come on. Just shake the tree. There we go. I would like to craft, please. Let me craft. This is just a nice, 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 nice chill game. Ooh, I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? I guess it's because I started, like, when I'm just sitting here by myself, like, I, ha I have to keep warm. But, like, when you start talking, like, you start getting warmer. Oh. What's up, Phoebe? What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Ha! Ah, knew it! Well, thanks for doing your part for being. Oh, I got an idea. If they got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. What is it? So I figured out how to make that shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes I got with my miles. If I remember right, it's called Pretty Good Tools Recipes. So far, everything I built there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig that shovel, go get that 
collection. It'll be buried in shovels. Okay, well, I am already buried in shovels. I've Now I have two shovels. Oh wait, I've got a regular shovel and a flimsy shovel. She gave me a good shovel. My god, girl. Thank you so much. You're sweating because Animal Crossing is such an intense game. <laughs> uh. I was actually thinking about playing... Uh, someone saying this is relaxing as Minecraft. I think Minecraft is a fucking horror game. Um, I, w I was thinking of doing another Minecraft uh, stream. But it would be... It would be like... Um, it would be hardcore, first of all. Uh, but one person at random is designated like the assassin. Nobody knows who the assassin is apart from the assassin. But everyone is trying to protect me. Or as well as Charlo if... If, if he, he plays as well. Um, so everyone... Well, he will play, obviously. But <laughs> um, A tool ring? It's essential? What is a tool ring? <gasps> Wait, is this like... I bet it's like for all my tools. So I don't have to keep it in my inventory. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, my order has been printed. Okay. This totally makes sense. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. Ah, sweet. That's good. Uh, so what I was thinking is that uh, I, me and Charlo have to try and beat the game uh, alongside... Well, like, we're the only ones who can progress and do the stuff, but everyone else is like a bodyguard. But if the assassin manages to kill either one of us, it's game over. It's game over, man! I thought that'd be pretty funny. So you've got, like, five bodyguards, and one of them's trying to kill us, but they have to, like... Pick their time correctly, and like everyone's gonna be suspicious of one another. It'll be it'll be really crazy. It'd be funny if like everyone who was the the um the bodyguards weren't in the same call as me and Charlo, instead in their own call. So they'd start yelling at each other, and we'd just see fights break out and stuff. Oh, sweet hairstyles! Now this is what I came here for: body paint, exploring new eye colors, uh, aloha tea. Is this all the same stuff as last time? Yep. Yeah, okay. Flooring. I think I'll get... Oh, I don't have enough miles to get any, any of these. Alright, well, I want to get some hairstyles, so... Uh, I'll get them eventually. Alright. So now I have the tool belt. Uh, so hopefully that means that... I hope, it, I hope it means they go out of my pockets. I really hope it means that... Okay, I can register an item. I will register the flimsy shovel. And I will register my... Ah, oh, no! Really? Are you serious? Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. At least I've got, like... I move that over there. Should have really put my peers in storage. I suppose I could just go plant them. Uh, let's put the shovel over there. Alright, I'm gonna go plant my peers in a nice area. I'll put one here. That'll be nice. Uh, so I can just go up and pick my shovel. Dig myself a wee hole. Chuck in my pier. Someone said I don't have to actually have to uh, water it, which is weird, but sure. And I'll put another one down here, sure. Oh wait, I need to dig a hole first. And we'll plant. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, that's good for now. Uh, let us go. Uh, vaulting, I guess. That's another damselfly. I've already got one of those. We were meant to find... A, uh, a fossil. Uh, so I'm going to go find a fossil. Whee! Now that's fun. Get a flimsy axe. Any fossils? <gasps> no! Come on! Give me something other than a rock! Oh, God damn it! Well, at least I got two iron chunks. That's nice. Oh, pocket organization. It's more inventory slots. Okay. Well, I'll get that when I come back. If I have enough. 
There's a hole here. You know what that means? You have to see what's in it. <gasps> oh my god, it's a fossil! <laughs> Look, I dug up a fossil! Like, man, that's a fossil and a half! The cricket. <gasps> that's a fly I haven't gotten before. I would like to use my net that I did not equip. Yes! I caught a common butterfly! They often flutter by! <laughs> uh, let's put the bug net there. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can find any more fossils. Uh, can I get across there? Should be... There. That's not it, because it's not doing it in the rotation I thought it would. Vaulting pole. Yeah, baby. Uh, I don't need clams. I need fossils. I've been here. Wait, have I explored the whole fucking island? <laughs> no way. There's still more up there I can see. Uh, so, fossils. Oh, here we go. Oh, I dug up a oh yeah, he's just gonna say that it's the same time every every single time. Alright. Have I checked the left side? I guess I haven't. Oh, here's another fossil. Jesus, how many fossils do I need? Okay. I suppose I should clean up a little bit on my way anyway. Nothing near the beach. Anything I can dig up on the beach? Nope. Let us, let's just go back, I guess. And we'll find, uh, we'll go on the left side, see if we can find some more fossils. Grab some, grab some weeds on the way. Do a bit of weeding as I go. A weed a day keeps the <laughs> bad thoughts at bay. That's what they say. Every Tuesday. When you're not smoking hay? I don't know. I can't rhyme. I'd be the world's worst, like, rapper. There's a nice beach up here, though. Hmm. A lot of shells. A lot of nice little things around here. See, if you're playing a uh, local co-op with people on the same uh, Switch, when you have it on the TV, uh, the the problem with it is is that every time the other person picks up something, the person without pockets, because you don't both have pockets for some fucking reason, uh, it goes like, whoop-boo! And they can only do really, really rudimentary things. They can't fish, they can't, like, maybe they can fish, I don't know. Every time they, like, pick up a weed, it's like, whoopoo! And, and your character, like, holds it up. He shows it off. And it's like, dude, just trying to, just trying to pick up some weeds here. Don't have to show it off every single time. And it goes, whoopoo! And it's so frustrating. And, and they really ruined the local co-op with that. I, I would have only needed to buy one copy of the game. But because of that, I had to buy two copies. They could have literally just hit split screen. <laughs> like... I don't understand why well, they couldn't have just done that. Okay, let's go give this stuff to Blathers. That'll make sense. And then we can probably get some more mileage and then uh, make our pockets larger. Is it When you visit another person's island, though, can you, like, give them permissions to transform the island and stuff? Because that could be fun. I'll play with Holly. All right, Blathers. Uh, I want to donate to you some fossils. Uh, let's go with uh, this fossil. Oh! Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil! Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. 
Back to the matter at wing. I must assist your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Indeed. Hoo hoo! After some consideration, I can safely declare that this fossil will be an Ekansostiga. <laughs> My feathers, what a fabulous fossil! This Ekansostiga <laughs> would be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I'm donating it. Hoot! How wonderful! I'll add it to our collection with the utmost haste. I thought I'd lay eyes on the pun uh, upon uh, such a well preserved Ekansostiga. Tell me, might I give you a thought presentation of the topic? Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna give this guy a bit of voice. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Acanthus Stega is said to be one of the earliest amphibians. It existed well before dinosaurs. Because they lived as fish not long before, they had gills and very webbed hands. To toss away the life they knew and venture into unknown lands, they must have been very brave. Hmm. Does it still count as bravery if you have no understanding of what you're doing? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo, and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity! <coughs> Sorry, I... <coughs> had to clear my throat there! Whew, I found it really strange there for a second. Now then. Uh... But the only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper uh, designation. From now on, please do bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate, it's up to you. Okay, I've got more donations, thank you. Oh, that destroys my voice. And my tongue. I'll just, I'll just go back to the sexy voice, just pretend he has a cold for the rest of his life. Eek, a long locust. What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, oh, I see. In that case... <clears throat> As the la average locusts weren't large enough, we must suffer the long locusts too. The wretched beasts are known for their unusually long hind legs as well as their elongated heads. But that is hardly the long locusts' worst trait. I tell you, they spit brown goo when they're scared. Revolting behavior indeed. Ugh and ew. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. Let's get, uh, give him some more donations. How about another fossil? Oh wait, I can only give him one fossil? Alright. Maybe I can only give him more when he's got more, uh, when, when the museum's up. Eek, a common butterfly. <laughs> Come on, dude, it's, it's a butterfly. Alas, I am obliged to ask. Yes, I would like to know more. Thank you very much. Ah, I see. In that case. Mm -hmm. The common butterfly would have you believe it is but a beautiful friend flitting prettily about the flowers. Bah, I say. They may seem innocent things with their pretty white wings, but they hide a dark side. The common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm, you see, and it's the most vicarious pest. Voracious, sorry. The ravenous beasts chew through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with a devastating gusto. And my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, I say. Any hoot. Well, there we go. Assist fossils? Oh, I have to assist them? We need eight donations to open the museum. Okay. Uh. I can't use this item right now. Alright. Okay, do I... Oh, it says fossils. Okay. <laughs> of course. Here we go. So what's this one going to be? Hmm. Indeed. Hoo-hoo. This is most assuredly a... a, a, a skull? Archi... Ar Archilin? A splendid specimen. Superb condition. Indeed, would be one step closer to opening a museum with an Archilin skull like this. Would you donate this relic of the past to further our museum's future? I'm donating it. Might I give you a short presentation? Yes! Please! Just do it every time! Where to begin? Ah yes, Arkelin. It was a sort of a huge sea turtle, the largest thus far found if you want to know. They were very sizable, some 13 feet long, with a shell the size of a small car. If you're into that sort of thing. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm into fucking prehistoric turtles. They likely ate seaweed, shrimp, octopus, and possibly ammonites, given the era involved. It seems certain giant turtles had to be prima donnas and eat some of uh, the oldest life forms on Earth. Prima donna, sorry. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I can only hope we find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. With this, we need seven donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? <laughs> he loses composure every time he says who. Who? <laughs> and the last fossil. What are we going to learn about now? Let's learn about this one. Do I get, like, the same fossil twice? I'm guessing not. It's the, the new way they're called fossils. Hoo hoo! <laughs> of course, it can be, what, be but one thing. A diplo chest. A splendid specimen in superb condition. Oh, yeah, okay. Can, can we not say the same thing every single time? It takes so long to do anything in this fucking game. Yeah, 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 you say that every time. Yes, please just tell me about it. I, I wish I could just give you it and you just instantly tell me about it. It would be shorter than me just saying, like, no, I don't want to hear about it. Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you, the stout fellow embodied with in all the best in dinosaurs? Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that the center of gravity... It was such that was sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy. What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. I am constantly screaming at you. Ah! Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Would would that we were also gifted? And that is what I have to say about that. All right. And last fossil. Jesus Christ. This is taking a wee while. Yes, yes, yes. I would like you to assess my fossil. Here it is. What is it? A mammoth torso. Nice. Yes, I would like to donate it. Ooh. Thank you, Chaos Control 001. <laughs> Subscribe for two months? That's crazy, bro! You're insane. 420 YOLO, 620, 80, 90. Uh, uh, yes, I would like you to give me a, a, a presentation. Our mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the ancient mammal world. So woolly, so unkempt. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest males. But they were subject to no one's rules, and some specimens were smaller than modern elephants. Scientists have pondered for years, were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I'm out of here. Alright, five donations. I think I can do that for the end of the for the end of the episode. Man, my eye is still hurting. Maybe uh maybe uh, somebody one of the villagers might give me something. So I'm going to go see if what's his face wants to This tree is just in the worst spot. <laughs> going to see if this boy wants to give me. Maybe he's in his tent. No, no one's home. Okay. Hello. Oh, there he is. He's going to call me little bear again, isn't he? Ooh. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not his voice. What was his voice? I think he was gruff too. Oh, um, maybe I got for a bit of a new look, but that seems a little bit extreme, little bit. Well, whatever you got, it's definitely not been skipping Stinger Day. Wish I had some medicine to give you, but I didn't want to mess up my aerodynamics, so I didn't bring any. Oh, but I can show you how to make medicine. It's easy to do, and this island's got everything you need. The last thing you want is to get stung so much you faint. Fainting really cuts into your lap times. So make sure you keep some medicine on you, little bear. All right, let's uh, let's learn how to make medicine then. Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for some medicine. All right, let's go make it. I I, I guess. I don't know what I need. Maybe like, it'd be like a self. Wait, is that? Oh, it's just a thing. I thought it was like a new villager. I was like, what the hell? Oh god, he's so scary. He's just coming to me in that bag. He's like, soon. 
soon. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go behind this tree now. <laughs> it would have been so funny. <laughs> I wanna edit. <laughs> I wanna edit that to have like him disappear when he goes behind the tree. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. It'd be really easy too, because he just split the tree in half and then just like have one side of the game playing and then the other one, um, it will playing at a different time, you know. Oh, that'd be so good. All right, medicine. How do I make medicine? Clump of weeds and a wasp nest. Oh, wasp nest. Okay, well, I've got one of those. It's just in storage. Do I have to always go back inside in order to do storage? I guess so. Oh, so was going to do it. Can you add some horror music? Like some really scary horror movie, uh, uh, music in the background? Like just really eerie? That'd be great. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Put it, If you put it on Twitter as well, I can retweet it. Uh, move to pockets. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see how good it is first. I mean, my house is kind of depressing. <laughs> Apart from the balloon. That just lights the place up. Alright. Let's make some medicine. I love how you have to get stung in order to, like... Well, have to find wasps in order to get the stuff for the medicine from wasps. I mean, I guess it makes sense. No, maybe not Outlast jump scare music. I mean, more like, like, um, I'm talking more like the, the the kind of music that like plays before you find the jump scare. Something like the um, ah, oh, you guys wouldn't even know the music, so I can't even bother saying it. I will take this medicine. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Better put on my sunglasses again. Now that I'm feeling good. Oh, I put it away in storage. God damn it. Oh well. Later on. Uh, okay, yeah, everything's good. Uh, so now, what I'm going to do is get some more specimens, I guess. Let's see if there's any fish nearby. There's one. I'm assuming there's different fish that come out during the day. <laughs> Can I just find it? I got the tool belt for a reason, but I don't seem to want to use it, so. All right. Oh, shit, that was fast. <gasps> yes, I caught a bluegill. Do you think it calls me pink lung? Hilarious. <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Do I get, like, a cooking stove or something I can use to, like, make meals? <gasps> Rocks. Wait, I have the tool belt. All right. Oh, man, I'll have the shop in no time. Oh man, I really will! Oh my god. Alright. That was plenty of stuff from there. Alright, more fish. Looking for fish. Or a bug. Any kind of bug. Should probably change my view again. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it, I need to stop doing that. I need to just go straight to the... It's a bit annoying because when you press it up, it's not that you can use the right analog stick to change. Oh, he sees it. Oh! Yeah, I think this one's in you as well. Oh no, it's just a crucian cup. Alright. What's up, dude? Hey, I hear you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Robert. I found something that might help things a lot. Here you go. Oh, nice. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cool. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go Team Beeg, Little Bear. <laughs> Beeg, Little Bear. I'm his Beeg, Little Bear. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Ah, oh, Phoebe's going out. Gonna catch some, catch some little, uh, catch some little bugs. Oh, my pockets are full. What the hell? Pop it with some weeds, maybe? Oh, I haven't sold my weeds. I need to do that. Uh, I will sell. I will get rid of this clay. Don't need that. Ah, oh, there's so many different things. All right, hang on. Just drop it for now. Maybe this is the same thing. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go sell this stuff. At least I can give some of it to Blathers. I know I can give him fish, so surely I can give him, like, a shellfish or something. Use a shovel on the rocks? Oh, okay. 
I suppose that makes sense. Oh wait, this isn't bladders. What am I doing? Hang on, did I get any more? I bet I got more Nook Miles. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, I really wanted to get a new hairstyle though. Eh, whatever. I'll do that later on. Wait! Oh, that's probably pop balloons. Oh yeah, it's down below. Okay, pick mushrooms, pop balloons. Uh, what else? Sell fruit. Catch bugs, catch fris. Fit frish? Frish? Oh wait, no, my, I left all my cherries at home. See you later, I guess. So I was gonna buy the upgrade. Uh, how do I write a script for my videos? Uh, what I do first is that I record the gameplay. Uh, and while I'm recording the gameplay, I write down notes about what I want to talk about. It's usually when something funny pops up. Uh, and then I kind of just write it from the notes and go through the footage as I go and kind of write. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes I, I have a horrible script and I scrap it completely. Or sometimes I have to rewrite a script a couple times before it looks good. Um... And sometimes the script just ends up being I'm, I, really good on the first try. I, I'm by no means a very good writer. Um, pretty good tools, recipes. Pocket organization guide is 5,000. Or I could get some cool new hairstyles. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really want these. <laughs> I'll get the other stuff later. Listen, if, if in Legend of Zelda, I could get new hairstyles instead of more uh, inventory space, I would do it. <laughs> Alright, so how do I change my hair now? How do I do it? Um... Oh, maybe it's in my clothing. Nope. I need to buy a mirror? Alright. I guess I'll buy a mirror. I'll craft a mirror. Ah shit, that's probably something I, I need to get from the from those re those totally cool recipes and they're, they're gonna cost a lot of miles, aren't they? And this is one to buy here. Shit. That's not it. That's a picnic basket. Oh wait, maybe? DIY for beginners, flimsy axe, slingshot, flimsy watering can. Ah, uh, Oh no. A blue balloon. I'll take it! Ah oh, shit. God damn it. Iron and wood? Well, I've got iron and I've... Oh, I've got wood. Go give this bluegill to blathers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd literally go to do something and my inventory's full immediately. Um, give this bluegill to blathers. Yes, blathers. Oh, I'm already getting annoyed about him. And it's not because he talks about the stuff. I love learning about the stuff. It's just that he says the same shit every single time. And it's like, I, I've, I've read this. I know what you're gonna say. Like he's gonna say, "Oh my God, this is a this is an an item," and then he's, wait, wait, he's not doing it. Oh, thank God. Okay, Th thank you. <laughs> uh, the bluegill is incredibly common, a bit too common, depending on where you are. They eat anything that flits into their mouths, fits in their mouths, and are highly adaptable. The bane of fishermen in some areas, bluegill is often the only fish to be caught. But looking at its wee beady eyes, I must say I see no ill will in it. And there you have it. Alright. Okay. Is that it? Can I just leave? Okay, four donations. So I gotta go get some more stuff. I guess I'll sell my weeds. Uh... I couldn't donate other stuff, could I? Like the giant clam and stuff, I couldn't, I couldn't give that into him, could I? I guess I'll just sell them. Uh, and, and I'll put my other fish back in the water. He deserves to be free. You can uh, release. There he goes. There he goes. And... What else can I do? I can sell stuff. That's right, I was going to go sell stuff. 
Man, this is just busy work. I want to do some, some proper crafting. I want to get things all sorted in my house. But, um, let's, let's just sell the, sell a little Timmy here. I wish to sell. What exactly am I offering? I'll tell you. Uh, weeds, coral, sand dollars, giant clams, venus combs. I'll keep the mushrooms just in case I need, wait. Well, there's plenty of mushrooms around, right? Do I, um, do I need mushrooms, guys? I'll wait this time until somebody, until somebody tells me. <laughs> do I need mushrooms? Do I just eat a mushroom? Is that what happens? Is it like a... I guess it's technically like a... Well, it's not a fruit. It's a, it's a fungi. Sell the shrooms? Alright. What are the numbers? 3,000 bells! Hell yeah! That's easy. And, on top of that, I got some Nook Miles. I think like a bunch of people just left when I bought the hairstyle. <laughs> um, let's take a look. Congratulations on finding your first fossil. Ah, good. Uh, oh, weeding. 200 weeds, nice. What else? Fruit roots? Plant new varieties, guess what will happen? Correct, you'll grow some Nook Miles. Ah. So I got the pear. Oh, wait, so if I put a cherry tree down, that'll work too? Oh, right. Pay dirt. My buried bells here. Yep, well, there we go. What these bells? Like, that means people have been here before. It's not a deserted island, is it? Oh, wait, maybe I can change it to my passport. I can change a bunch of stuff. And I can add a short comment. Let's change my photo. I will take a photo. Ah, look at that. Let's zoom in. Uh, how do I zoom up and down? Oh, buttons. Uh, it, it goes a bit fast for me. Sure. I don't like the background being the tent, but that'll work for now. Let's change the title. Let's be a, 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 a pocket. A pocket, pocket, pocket uh, enthusiast. <laughs> I'm a pocket enthusiast. And my comment shall be... Oh, I can actually write it. That's a uh, forward of Nintendo. I am big. All right, there we go. Nice rescue service. Oh. Oh wait, does that mean I get on nuke, nuke, nuke miles? Nuke. Have I ever played Animal Crossing before? Only yesterday. What's one of our goals beside the, uh... Uh, what, what, sorry, what, uh, what am I, what, it goes beside the museum. Um, the shop, also the shop. So I need to get, like, uh, enough wood, and, yeah, I can't use, it should be right analog stick to change stuff, but it's not, it's, it's left. Which makes things a little weird and difficult. So I need a lot of hardwood, and a lot of softwood, and a lot of regular wood. And I also need uh, iron nuggets, which I've already collected a bunch of, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. It might take a couple days, but we'll get there. Just a nice relaxing time. I'd like to keep going with uh, Breath of the Wild soon, but like... Uh, I just wanted to give Animal Crossing a fair shake, do a couple of streams, get people interested, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'll get people uninterested, who knows. Alright, I'll collect these branches as well because I'm going to need a new axe soon. 
Uh, but I think what I'll do... Oh my god, is that a bell? Oh, nice! Oh wait, right, I need to keep going. I was gonna swap to the shovel, but like... I mean, this is only giving me money? Oh, well, there we go. At least we got some money out of it. <laughs> and some weeds. Imagine going down to pick some money and instead you grab some weeds. I'll use the shovel next time, but... What Switch games do I own? Um, I own this one, Breath of the Wild. I've got uh, Zelda Hyrule Warriors. Not the new one, the old one. Um, I've got Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Um, I have... What else do I have? Sword and Shield, obviously. Well, just Sword. No, sorry, just Shield. Uh, which I'm planning on getting rid of, actually. Uh, what else do I have? I have... Uh, Fire Emblem, Three Houses. I have... I think I've got another game, but I can't remember it. I think it's another Mario game, but I... Keep forgetting. I've got Ring Fit Adventure. That's the thing. Um... I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't have many Switch games. No, I don't have Odyssey. <laughs> if anyone wants to give me Odyssey, he's more than welcome. <laughs> uh, but no, I'll probably get Odyssey at one point. I'm not going to use my streaming powers for evil. Uh, so... I mean, grabbing weeds while answering... Questions is it's good shit. Easy to do. Clear out this whole patch and I'll have a lot of bells at the end of it. It's my Is this seriously how long has this been going on? On the left here. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's definitely from it's definitely a Streamlabs problem. Yeah, okay, I've got, um, I don't know how long this has been going on for, but the, the, it's very, very jittery. This is absolutely a Streamlabs problem. Uh, because I can see on the capture it's not, it, it's, it's getting it flawlessly. So there's something really wrong going on with the capture here. Yeah, wow, that doesn't look right at all. Uh, I might, I might give it... I might give the uh, stream a test stream, just stop for now, and give it another test stream and then come back in a bit. It might take me like half an hour to fix it. If it doesn't get fixed, then I'll just finish for today and download regular OBS and see if that helps. Cause Jesus Christ, that's not right. See now, this looks fine. This looks alright. And then all of a sudden it'll just kind of start clipping like... Start looking a little, little, little... Well, now it's fine, like... Yeah, but no, I don't want to have VODs full of, like... I don't want you guys to have to look at clippy fucking footage. So, I think I'll leave it here for now. Uh, I'll try fix it. If it doesn't end up working, then I'll... I'll, uh... Just... <laughs> I'll, I'll have to sort something out for next time. Uh, Alright. I'll I'll I'll, ca I'll catch us soon then or not at all. All right. Bye bye.